Well, welcome to the season finale of Five and Five. And I am the guest host, Bella Bordelotti. And our guest speaker is Mr. Willis Love. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> For the first time, I'm actually a little nervous because I've never had to sit in this hot seat before. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. We have five wonderful people coming on to ask Willis a question, which is different than we obviously know it usually is. Um, but before we get started, Willis, you want to give us just a little summary of your life? What oh you my do? gosh, my whole life, what I do... <laughs> Well, um, I'm Willis, as you know, and originally from Dubuque, Iowa. Um, I moved here almost nine years ago. Um, I am fast forward to KW. I am the director of Asian engagement, as you also know, and um, basically uh, just living my best life and trying to make sure that I'm sprinkling as much joy and positivity and support into all, everyone else's lives that I encounter. Yeah. Well, obviously, everyone here loves you, and we're all obsessed with you, especially me. Um, <laughs> Blessed. <laughs> of course. So uh, I think we should just get right into it. The okay. first, so how this is going to work is there's one agent from every office who has been on your previous five and fives. Um, they're going to ask you the question. And then we'll put five minutes on the clock and just get going with it. So the first person that we are going to have ask a question is the fabulous Mary Beth Milkey. So Willis, what's it like being on the other side of the table? Oh, it's a little nerve wracking all day. I was like, this is going to be easy. And then I realized mm -hmm. like five, 10, five minutes before this, I was like, ooh. And, and as soon as I sat down then I was like, okay. Now I know how it feels. So my question to you is, if you could have lunch with any celebrity, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Oh my goodness. So everybody knows that I love me some Mariah Carey and she would definitely be the person that I have lunch with. Mariah Carey is the very first cassette that I ever owned, her original album. And it was, it took me probably like, oh my God, five months to save enough money to get it and this is back when I lived in this is 1990 and what back when I lived in California and so through that journey of having that cassette and knowing who Mariah Carey is she's multiracial and I'm also multiracial and at that point in my life I was only surrounded by white people so I, having that um, inspiration having someone to look to was very important to me in that phase of my development into who I am and <laughs> Believe it or not, Mariah Carey's 1987 album, Butterfly, was the album that inspired me to come out of the closet. Oh, cool. Awesome. Do you know why she named her daughter or one of her children Monroe? Uh, yeah, she absolutely loves Marilyn Monroe. That's one of her like top idols. And she owns Marilyn Monroe's original piano. Yes, she does. Awesome. <laughs> well... So nice to chat with you and always, always so fun to be around you. Oh. I wish you'd come over to our side of the tracks a little more. Oh, come I, on over I try. to my country. Yep. <laughs> All right, my dear. Love you. Thank <laughs> you, Mary Beth. You're welcome. <laughs> well, Charlie Sully seems to have popped onto the call out of the blue. <laughs> now, now, now the nerves are two a ten. <laughs> Charlie, will you take it from here? Of course. So, um, Willis, as the tables have turned on you and people are getting to know a little bit and peeling back the onion as to who Willis is, um, what have you taken from your time at KW in the community that um, you've served? What's your takeaway from uh, the community, the people, and uh, what you do every day? I feel that KW has taught me a valuable lesson in how to support others so that they can grow their business, but as well as like pouring back into the market centers. It's very a, much a circle of life here at KW. And I have been in such a great position to pour into others and it's always come back to me tenfold. And it's been really, really, really rewarding. And we appreciate all the energy that you give to others so that they can go out and do what it is that they need to do at their best. Willis does such a great job at what he does and servicing everyone and I mean, I think it just really shows whenever someone walks into the office, like 
they light up when they see him at the front desk. And then when I'm there by myself, they're like, is Willis okay? Like, is he, is he coming back? And I'm like, yeah, he's fine. Oh my goodness. Like, Did he, is he leaving us? No. Stop these compliments. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Willis, it was fun to t turn the tables on you and uh, <laughs> love having the introduction to the five and five and showing, showcasing our people to, uh, to each other. It's a pleasure. I absolutely love it. Hey, how are you feeling? Two down, three to go. I'm nervous, like, but I, I feel good. I feel, I'm glad that all the questions didn't come from Charlie because Charlie has such high standards and, oh, I feel like it, I, it makes me realize like, oh, it would be nice to have the questions in advance, even though I don't do that for the other, cause you know, people who are coming mm -hmm. on. So like, oh, like. The next one that we have coming on is going to uh, be Reese Grand Gecko. All right, from the Southwest office. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So welcome to Five and Five, Willis. Oh, thank you. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> We're so honored to have you today as our guest. Oh, it's it is a pleasure. It really is. You know, so many episodes have gone by where the agents are like, so when are we turning this on you? And I'm like, oh. And now you're on the other side of it. So welcome yes. and welcome to five and five. Mm -hmm. So my question is, you've clearly gifted KW with your social media talent. Uh, you've helped create more brand recognition and more followers. You've increased our demographic and you just overall have made us more fun. So what or who inspires you when you're thinking about creating your, your reels and do you have any special projects coming up that you'd like to give us a little sneak peek about on today? <laughs> wow, that's a really great question. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> so my inspiration behind all the reels, especially the KW ones, are literally all the agents because I am able, I think about what would it be like on the other end of this seeing this and will it make them laugh? Will it make yeah. them like engaged? I really... I always think about that first before I post anything. Like I've had, I have videos galore, but I'm like, will, I, will that translate to something funny that the agents are like, ah, you know, want to, you know, engage and start a conversation about? Um, on my personal stuff, oh, that's a wide range of all. It's it's like, am I hungry? Am I thinking about food? Am I thinking about music? Is it is it music related? Am I like trying to like re redo a reel that someone else has done? Like it's all all of it. So it's across this whole spectrum of social media inspiration. I love that. <laughs> but projects, um, projects. So five and five has been extraordinary. Um, this is the 36th episode. And knowing that this is the end of season three is, is such an accomplishment. And I always want to take it to the next level. And it's like, what does that look like? How do I present that? How do I make that work for myself and the people who are going to be a part of it. And so my next big project is the evolution of five and five. And that's all I can Ooh. tell you. <laughs> okay. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I like the mystery. Can I ask a bonus question? Oh my God. We love a bonus question. Yay. You're going to be okay. six and five. <laughs> <laughs> You're shipwrecked and there's only room for one person on your raft to take with you to shore. Who is it, Mariah or J-Lo? <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the obvious choice is Mariah Carey. I mean, I don't have a, I don't even know who that Jennifer Lopez, Lopez person is. J-Lo, is it? <laughs> I think that's it, something like In that. The, the famous words of Mariah Carey, I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm a big, huge Mariah fan as well, but needless to say. Oh, well, it was such a pleasure. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me again on 5 and 5. Willis, you are amazing. You're a joy. Keep inspiring us with all of those amazing social media posts and reels. I absolutely love them. So, I and I know everybody else does. It's not just about me, but, like, I could, like, watch them all day. All right, y'all. Have a great Thank afternoon. You. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Next person we have coming up is from the wonderful North Shore, where we are currently filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angie. Ron 
<laughs> hey how's it going in here so far it, it's it's nerve-wracking <laughs> but it's good it's fun <laughs> interesting to be on this side of the table and answering questions that are usually are not they're not related to closings or earnest money or where my <laughs> where, con- where the closing is taking place or oh where the restrooms are <laughs> like all that <laughs> well we're excited to have you on that side of the table willis Okay, I'm here to ask the stuff that we all really want to know. The hard question, Willis. If you were to have only one Starbies order for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Oh my God, this is so easy. So (laughs) if you know me, I am all about the caramel uh, brulee latte during the holiday season. It is absolutely divine, satisfying, and really gives you a, a, a different kind of holiday cheer in a cup. I just feel like during the holidays, like creme brulee is such a better flavor. It's elevated and I'm into elevated things and I very much would enjoy that. And I have had it on ice and it, as a hot beverage and I could have that every day for the rest of my life and not complain. Easier than I thought. You have good mm-hmm. taste, my friend. <laughs> no one will deny you that. So I think we can safely say creme brulee beverages on Willis's birthday for the entire office. <laughs> of Maybe. course, I'll plan it, I'll plan it. <laughs> I don't know. So Starby Gods, if you're watching this five and five, <laughs> hear my prayers. Please put the caramel brulee latte on the menu 24 7, 365, please. 366, leap year. Thank you for letting you. me come on here and be a guest. You want to hear a really another, I've been sharing little factoids like today. Um, You, sir, when I began my job here at Keller Williams, you were the first person who ever bought me a coffee. And it shocked me because I was like, oh, they do that here? They buy people coffees? I'll have to go back in my app and see what we ordered. Maybe, Mm -hmm. let's see if you live true to your... Well, it was during the, it was during February. So maybe. Thank you, Ross, so much. You're welcome. Have fun with the rest of them, Willis. Oh, I'll try. <laughs> Bye. 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 Is there a brulee latte? No, we have one more. Oh. <laughs> and it is going to be Abigail Jacqua. Oh, yes. The Tosa office. How are you guys? Hey. How are you? Good. Am I the last one? You are. You're the final Fabulous. question in the five and five. We have unfortunately gone over the five minutes. Long, long ago, <laughs> but we're still going. <laughs> you it's look fabulous, Willis. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. I wore pink today because Bella's hosting. All right, Willis, I've heard about your Starbies addiction, so I want to hear your favorite and the worst drink you've ever had. Oh, my. So I the question before the, <laughs> was about my favorite drink, which is the caramel brulee latte. Okay. Um, that is my absolute favorite, hands down. The worst one I had was, I tried the um, pistachio latte this year, um, just a few months ago when it was like a thing, and it was garbage. I was like, oh, this is just hot trash and milk. (laughs) (laughs) So Um, I haven't ordered that since. I'm flabbergasted. Well, I just had one from Collectivo, so hopefully that one's better. I love pistachio though. Have have you had it from Collectivo? Uh uh-uh. uh, and I usually the only reason I never go to Collectivo is because well I used to live by one and I would have it every now and then but the wait times were just horrendous so I was like nope I'm just gonna go where I know it's gonna happen in a reasonable amount of time and I do know that like Collectivo's coffees are legit good and yeah. I just feel like there's more care and quality ingredients put into those anyways so I think that's part of why it takes a little bit longer um, but. When it comes to like, I get my little stars and all that stuff, and it's right across the street from the office. So it makes it very easy just <laughs> to fall into Starby's hands and just be loved by them. I can imagine. <laughs> How long have you been at KW now, Willis? Um, I'm going on two and a half months, or two and a half months, Jesus. I was about to <laughs> two and a half years. <laughs> He's new new. I'm brand new. How were you introduced to the role? Like, did you know anybody? Oh, yes. So um, a very, very, very close friend of mine, Brett Timmerman, um, woke me up on the night of the Christmas party. 
for Keller Williams back in 20, it was 2021, but I think it was the holiday party world. I don't know, it was pandemic, whatever. He called me in the middle of the night and was like, oh, like I just talked to so-and-so and they're hiring, you know, at the front desk at Keller Williams in North Shore. And I was like, what, really? I'm like, that was be a change in the industries for me, but also like I'm into it. And at the time I was unemployed. So I was like, okay, like, what is this about? And so, um, he also um, connected me, you know, well, I know Amanda Schroeder as well. And so okay. I had them tag teaming um, Sydney Warner, uh, Charlie and Mandy on, I need this interview, like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not playing around. And yeah, and so they they made the, the, this is actually the second introduction I've had to KW because previously I was doing freelance for a number of agents and a lot of them, were out of this office and Coldwell Banker. And so, and a lot of those Coldwell Banker transferred over here and became Keller Williams agents. So I had all, in 2018 was the earliest I remember of actually meeting everybody. And I was, it was a red day. It was the very first red day I went to. I had my own red shirt on and it was Wonder Woman. <laughs> and that's how I, I made my first introduction to like the Stales initially. And then, and I also sat on a panel for social media ad, you know, ad managing. And so I then was like, okay, like I'm totally familiar with Keller Williams. I know, you know, a lot of people, but it fast forwarding back to, you know, 2021, it was really, you know, Brett and Amanda Schroeder where they were both just like working wonders in the background for me oh, to make yeah. sure that I got sat down in front of Mandy and Charlie. I was just gonna say, like, I didn't realize how short it was but i feel like you're obviously just like iconic and a staple to kw milwaukee oh now. my it's gosh kind of, <laughs> he's an icon <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's not yeah. even called an icon well obviously a lot of people are gracious and i hope to get into the office more to see you and yeah miss tosa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for inviting me to this congratulations willis yeah thank you Bye. I do. I do. I feel like this is like the finale to like American Idol or something. <laughs> like, oh my god! Like, okay, well now you have the mic and sing. <laughs> when you left, I lost a part of me. <laughs> I would finish it, but y'all would your, your ears would hurt for sure. So, <laughs> well, well, thank you so much. I'll let you finish it up, Bella. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. That was an impressive round of questions. I love that everyone's like tuned into my Starbies habit. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know like if that's I a mean, good thing everyone, or a bad thing. They know you so well, Mariah Carey and yes. Starbies. I mean, what more could there be? Stefan, the the world is run by those who show up, but my world is run by Starbies, Chapstick, and Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, it's valid. Oh, truth. Bible. Bible for real. <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was fun. That was fun. And I really, really appreciate, you know, you originally had the idea for this. I don't know if you remember that, but when you first started, you were like, so you do these five and fives. Like, when are you like, where's your episode? And I was like, hmm. and that turned on the light. In a way, this happened because you walked in the doors and you blessed our entire the whole market, everybody you know, with your presence and your power and the ability that you have to just do the Lord's work. And it's phenomenal. So I really, really appreciate you. I really, really thank you. And I'm glad that you got to do this, that you got to. So kudos well, to you, darling. Know. You deserve everything. All right, well, <laughs> back to our desk where we can- actually Yeah, let's get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank well, you so bye. much. Yes, bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>